Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 things that you should know about Dolby Atmos. Now, before we jump into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, I have had my Dolby Atmos set up here in my home theater for about the past year and a half. If you'd like to have a Dolby Atmos set up in your home, today's sponsor can help you do just that. SVS offers a huge assortment of wireless audio, subwoofers, speakers, and home theater accessories. The Prime Elevation make perfect Dolby Atmos speakers and can be mounted on the wall or even directly on your ceiling using their on-ceiling mounts. Now, whether you're looking for a small, budget-friendly subwoofer or you wanna feel like Godzilla's in your living room, SVS has you covered. You can shop and buy directly from their website and enjoy a 45-day risk-free in-home trial, a five-year unconditional warranty, lifetime tech support, and take advantage of their one-year trade-up policy. Be sure to check out their website at svsound.com to build your home theater today. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the 10 things that you should know about Dolby Atmos. Number one, Dolby Atmos is not a gimmick. Now what I mean by that is when I first began to consider Dolby Atmos for my setup, I was wondering, is this just another ploy to get me to buy new speakers, to upgrade my receiver? And I just began to have some of the same questions that you might have if you do not already have a Dolby Atmos setup. Now after installing Dolby Atmos, I can absolutely 100% say that I love Dolby Atmos. I love the immersive sound that I get from it. It adds just an extra realism that I did not get with just surround sound speakers. Number two, there's lots of Dolby Atmos content out there. Now in the description below, I'll link to two websites that have a huge list of Dolby Atmos titles that you might be interested in. Now one thing to keep in mind is not all Dolby Atmos discs are created equal. And what I mean by that is certain Dolby Atmos discs, there's just not a lot of content on there. It may be encoded in Dolby Atmos, but maybe a lot of the video is dialogue. Um, you're not gonna get a lot of Dolby Atmos overhead channel um, kind of effects in something like that. Now, when you're watching something like Gravity, you're gonna have a ton of Dolby Atmos through that uh, movie. And so each movie is gonna vary on the amount of Dolby Atmos content it has in the video. Number three, Dolby Atmos are not just on 4K disc. You can also find them on Blu-ray disc. Now with that said, some movies have it on the 4K version, but do not have it on the Blu-ray version. So you'll wanna make sure that you do some research before you pick it up, or at least look on the back of the Blu-ray or the 4K disc to see if it has Dolby Atmos encoded. Number four, you're not going to always hear your Dolby Atmos speakers throughout a movie experience. Now think about this, during certain scenes, there are times where there's going to be maybe a helicopter that flies overhead, or you're going to have a, a sound that comes from above. Those are the times when the Dolby Atmos speakers are going to kick in and you're going to experience that immersive sound. But just don't go into a movie thinking, man, I'm going to hear, or I'm expecting to hear those channels all the time. Same thing happens with your surround back speakers, sometimes even your side surrounds. Those speakers should only play when there's content that is supposed to be played during that scene. Number five, speaker placement matters. When it comes to Dolby Atmos, Dolby has set guidelines and measurements and angles that it wants you to abide by to make sure that you get the most out of your Dolby Atmos experience. And so please don't just slap in ceiling speakers up there or surround sound speakers on, on the wall as height channels and expect to get great sound. Be sure you go to their website. I'll post a link to it also down in the description below. You can look on their website if you've got a 7.1.2 or a 5.1.4, however setup you want to make, it's got guidelines on where you need to place those speakers. Number six, there are three main types of Dolby Atmos speakers. The first and best experience you're gonna get with Dolby Atmos is with in-ceiling or at least on-ceiling speakers. 
When you're able to mount the speakers directly above you, that's where you're gonna get the most realistic sound. Now, if you can't cut holes in your ceiling to install Atmos in-ceiling speakers, the next best option would be height elevation speakers. Now, height elevation allows you to mount the speakers on the wall as opposed to the ceiling, and typically they're angled down. Height elevation speakers can be used instead of in-ceiling speakers when you can't climb into the attic or maybe you just don't want to install or cut holes in your ceiling. So in that case, you would use height elevation speakers that would be mounted on your walls or some of them, like the SVS Elevation, have brackets that allow you to actually mount them on the ceiling as opposed to in the ceiling. Now, if you can't go with in-ceiling or elevation speakers, your third option is up firing Dolby Atmos modules. Now these modules typically are either built into say your floor standing speakers or they're a module that is placed on top of a speaker and that speaker will then fire up and hit your ceiling and then bounce back down to your ears and your listening position. Now to me this is a last resort. It's not always effective but it can work in the right environment. Now I made a video on up firing Atmos speakers and kind of showed a demo of how they could be used very effectively and very convincingly. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it in the card above. Number seven is level match your speakers. Now what I like to use is something like a Radio Shack meter. You can either get an analog or a digital meter. And basically what you wanna do is make sure all of your speakers are exactly the same level. Now with that said, once you level match your speakers, sometimes you might want to adjust or increase your Dolby Atmos channels, maybe just by a couple of dB, maybe two decibels, three decibels higher, just so that you can kind of hear those a little bit more in your setup. So just play around with it, but in general, you want to level match, but don't hesitate to at least bump those up just a little bit to see if that sounds better in your environment. Number eight, if at all possible, go with at least four Dolby Atmos speakers. Now think about this, it's gonna be really hard to get surround sound if you only have two front speakers, right? Because there's no speakers behind you. Same thing with up above. When it comes to Dolby Atmos, Dolby recommends that you at least have four. If you've got a big room, you may have to go with six, but if all possible, go with at least four Dolby Atmos speakers so that you can get the most use out of the Dolby Atmos setup. Number nine, Dolby Atmos isn't just found on physical media, it's also on a lot of streaming platforms as well. Platforms such as Apple 4K TV, you can also find it on Hulu, Vudu, Netflix, and also on the brand new Disney Plus. Now if you're not familiar with Disney Plus, my buddy Chana D, the techno dad, just made a really cool video on that. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it in the card above. And finally, number 10, Dolby Atmos is object-based versus channel-based. Now with Dolby Atmos, sound engineers can now kind of place sound in a three-dimensional environment and manipulate that and place it wherever they want sound to appear in your room. Now I know that's not real scientific, so I'll link to a cool video about how that process works down in the description below. Well guys, hopefully this video has been helpful. If you're considering upgrading your setup to Dolby Atmos 100%, man, I say go for it. I love the format, I love the content that's out there, and it just adds a whole new realism to my home theater, and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Well guys, hope you have a great week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.